Sage Bank Feeds is a free, secure service that you can use to download your bank transactions into Sage 200. This makes reconciling your bank much quicker and easier and ensures your accounts are up to date. Before we look at enabling Sage Bank Feeds, there are a couple of points that we need to cover. You can't set up Sage Bank Feeds for a cashbook account if the cashbook account in question already uses Sage Salary and Supplier Payments or SASP. You'll also need to ensure Sage eBanking e-reconciliation is not in use on the intended cashbook account. As a side note to this, you can enable Sage Bank Feeds if the e-banking function is set to payments only. To enable the feature, we first need to select the cashbook account that we want to set it up for. On the bank account list, select the account and then click Amend Account. Move to the e-banking tab and click Enable. The email address that you enter here will be used for all correspondence regarding bank feeds. It's important that you always have access to this mailbox for the duration that you use the feature. During the wizard, you'll be prompted to specify a date. This date is the earliest transaction date that you want to download. We recommend that you enter the day after your last bank reconciliation date. This way you can't download transactions that you have already reconciled. When you finish the wizard, you'll need to download a form to print and complete. This authorizes Sage Bank Feeds to connect with your bank account. You can either post the form to the address listed, which will be either your bank or Sage, depending on the bank that you use, or fax the form to the number provided. This will be a secure electronic fax mailbox. Once your bank has authorized your application, the cashbook account status will change from pending to active, and you can start using the feature to download transactions. Please note, this process can take up to 10 working days to complete, depending on your bank. You may want to control user access for this feature. To do this, you'll need access to System Administrator. Once in there, open Roles. Find the role that your users belong to, right-click and choose Features. To allow users to enable Sage Bank Feeds, ensure they have access to the feature Amend Bank Account Details. To allow a user to download and reconcile transactions, ensure they have access to the Amend Cash Book Account Details feature, the Bank Feeds Download Transactions feature, and the Bank Feeds Reconciliation feature. Now that we've enabled the feature, we can start to look at performing a bank reconciliation using Bank Feeds. As an overview, the steps are as follows. Download your bank transactions using the Bank Feed service. Match your transactions using either automatic or manual matching, and then save your match transactions as a draft or continue to the reconciliation screen. Select your bank account from the list and then click Bank Feeds. Click Download Transactions. Select the date range that you want to show the transactions for. The Auto Match button allows you to automatically match your bank transactions with your Sage transactions. Pairs of individual matching transactions will be added to the match transactions list based on the following. The transaction dates must be within four days of each other. The transaction amounts must be identical and the type of the transaction must be the same. So payments can only be matched with other payments, for example. A caveat to this is that transactions will not be matched if there is more than one possible match or if one transaction needs to be matched with multiple transactions. Should you download your bank transactions and find that some have not been recorded in Sage, you can quickly remedy this by using the Add Transaction of Type dropdown. Simply choose the type of transaction that you want to create, and then once saved, it will appear in the Transactions from Sage list. When matching the transactions, the best practice is to use Auto Match first to match most of the transactions, and then use manual matching to either add or change anything before you finish the reconciliation. Clicking Confirm will save the match transactions as a draft bank reconciliation, whereas Confirm and Continue to Reconcile will open the bank reconciliation window. When you reconcile your account, you may find that some bank transactions that were downloaded from Sage Bank Feeds do not have a matching transaction in Sage 200. If these transactions are frequent, then instead of adding individual transactions each time you reconcile, you can set up bank feed rules to automatically create these transactions in Sage for you. For example, if you make a regular payment to your energy supplier each month, you could set up a rule that recognizes your bank payment, then creates the matching transaction in the program for you. You can create a new bank feed rule whenever you add a new transaction in the bank feed screen. To start, select the transaction in the transactions from your bank list that you want to create the rule for. Use the Add Transaction of Type dropdown to select the transaction type that you would like to post. 
Bank feed rules can be created for customer and supplier receipts and payments, and nominal payments and receipts. The type of transaction that's available on the drop-down will depend on the bank transaction that you select. Enter the details for the transaction, then click Save and Create Rule. If the new transaction amount matches the original bank transaction, then it will be added to your match transactions. As a side note, the Save and Create Rule button will not be live if you have not selected a bank transaction or have selected multiple bank transactions, if you have selected a supplier or customer account that uses a different currency to the bank account in question, or if your Sage 200 company uses a different base currency to that bank account. On the Create Bank Rule screen, give your rule a name and then select one or more of the following conditions. The reference field is applicable to the bank's description for the transaction. For example, any transactions downloaded from your energy supplier will more than likely have their name as the reference. The amount field offers the options you can see on screen. The transaction date is the date range you would expect to receive this transaction in. You can have the check number of the transaction and the sort code and account number of the account that you may be dealing with. Click add to dictate how the transaction will be processed in Sage 200. You can choose to post to a specific customer or supplier account, or you can choose to post directly to the nominal ledger. If you do post directly to the nominal ledger, you'll see extra options on the screen. You can choose to split the total value over multiple accounts, add a nominal reference, select a nominal VAT code, or add a project item, if applicable. Click Add when you're happy to proceed. Back on the Create Bank Rule screen, we have the Review Transaction Before Posting tick box. If this box is ticked, then the next time you download transactions for this account, you'll be asked to approve any of those transactions that were created by your bank feed rules. That's it for this demonstration, so thank you for watching. Look out for more updates on the Sage Roadmap. Links are posted to the roadmap and the steps to set up Sage Bank Feeds below.